In this video, we will test raw creative's accuracy and speed. Let's start by testing the repeatability. When you test repeatability in real industrial machines, you do it with resistance by cutting into a material. An aluminum machine has so much flex that it doesn't work, so tests are done in the air to see how accurate the electronics and the mechanics of the machine are. All machines in this price range usually do like this. To understand how small margins we test, you can look at the clock in the video. When the pointer completes one revolution, it means 1 mm or 0.04 inch, one notch from zero is 0.01 mm which is one-tenth of a human hair. Today's CNC machines have an accuracy of around 0.02 mm and lower. Right now the tests show that raw creative is around 0.005 mm in accuracy, but let's run the same test for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes the needle has moved slightly to the left which shows an accuracy below 0.01 mm which is one tenth of an average human hair. Usually it is not the electronics that cause this, but something called backlash. But before we test backlash, I want to see how the repeatability is with faster movements and longer distances. In this test I let the machine go over its entire axis and at a speed of 10,000 mm per minute. A good ball screw machine has a speed of about 6,000 mm per minute so we are way above that. This test gave roughly the same results. The difference probably depends on the backlash of the rack and should be about 0.01 millimeters. Let's measure the backlash. Backlash is the play that the mechanical parts have such as ball screws, timing belt or rack. You can measure this by taking measurements from both sides of an axle. If we place the axis in the middle of the indicator clock and zero the coordinates, we can go from left to zero and then from right to zero. Then we can see the clearance that the mechanical parts have. You can do this a couple of times until all the values stay within the same range. This test shows hardly any play at all, but if we were to put the machine under stress, it would look completely different. Our pre-built machines pass tests better under stress as they are more robust, but Raw Creative is a do-it-yourself kit and these results can be seen as extremely good. Tests like these don't say much, it's a machine under stress that shows what it's capable of. Let's test how fast the machine is, before the electronics fails or the drive stalls. The Work B is a CNC machine with lead screws and has this speed according to their website. But let's start the test from a good CNC machine that should have a speed of about 6,000 mm per minute.
Raw Creative did that without any issues, let's increase the speed to 10,000 mm per minute. According to another manufacturer's website with prices two times Raw Creative, they have a machine that can handle 12,000 mm per minute. Let's see if we can handle 10,000 mm per minute. Okay, let's try 15,000 mm per minute. Not bad. Can we do 20,000 mm per minute? Not bad for a DIY machine, but 25,000 mm per minute, is that even possible? Can we do 30,000 mm per minute? At 35,000 mm per minute, everything should crash, let's see. It didn't, but at 40,000 mm per minute? What about 45,000 mm per minute? That was the limit, let's go back to 40,000 mm per minute and see if it stalls. So what does this test say? You can't possibly cut at these speeds especially with an aluminum machine that has flex. But the system is so optimized that it can reach speeds like no other. Also keep in mind that this is a DIY CNC kit and probably the best out there for now. We will post more videos shortly, where we cut in different materials, and also in 3D.